Hey guys, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm showing you how to make really easy stamped marble cookies. So Valentine's Day is coming up and I wanted to show you guys a really simple cookie that you guys could make. And you could definitely play around with the design to make it as creative as you want. So for this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to use marble fondant on cookies and I'm gonna show you how to stamp them. And for this episode, I'm doing like famous couples and like some of them are real, some of them are from movies or TV. Um, but obviously you guys can stamp it however you'd like. And to get started, you guys are gonna see that I already have some pre-made sugar cookies here and I used Preppy Kitchen's recipe, which is in the show notes. And I'm just gonna start off by using um, some of my homemade marshmallow fondant. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I try to avoid royal icing as much as possible. And I very often use fondant on my cookies. I love royal icing when other people do it, but it is still a challenge for me. So I always say it's my goal to get better with royal icing, but I think fondant has a beautiful look to it as well. So fondant works on cookies. So what I have, I have pink and I have white. And to marble the fondant, I am just going to start mixing this together. And I do not want to mix this all the way completely. So I'm just kind of gently kneading this together. Definitely do not want to blend it completely. And when I'm about here, to get really pretty streaks, what I'm going to do is I'm adding a little bit of gel food coloring with a toothpick. And I'm just gonna add like a few little streaks in here. And the key here is again, we do not wanna blend it all the way. But what's gonna happen is you're gonna start to see like little darker, like marble like streaks, exactly how we want. So you can see like this marbling really pretty. So I might actually just stop right there and I'm just gonna start rolling this out. And then using the same cookie cutter that I cut my sugar cookies with, I'm gonna start cutting the marble. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make three different cookies here. I'm trying to be really careful not to over mix my fondant. If you want, if it starts getting a little too pink, add in a little bit more white. Gently mix that in. Maybe add another streak of food coloring. So after I have my fondant cut out, I'm just gonna take a little bit of water, like just a tiny bit and paint the back of my fondant. And you don't have to cover the entire piece, just a little bit. And then I'm just going to lay this over my cookie. And the good thing about fondant is if you make like a little, like a mistake, you can like gently smooth it out. Like the heat from your hands kind of warms the fondant. So now that I have my cookies prepped, I'm gonna show you guys how to stamp them. So I'm using these little um, stamp letters that I found on Amazon, and I'll be sure to link them. I've used them before. I think they're really nice to work with, especially for cookies. And to be honest, the thing that takes the longest with these is finding the letters. So I kind of laid them out in general alphabetical order. I'm gonna use, this is an icing scraper just to help make sure my lines are straight. And I'm gonna show you first, probably one of my favorite couples of all time, ice and cocoa. One thing that's helpful is to kind of center it is I actually just start with the center letter or letters so they have like my spacing correct. So that was a little crooked, so I'm going to actually just smooth the fondant out and redo it. So 
So another favorite couple of mine, we have to do Harry and Megan. And since this is Valentine's Day, if you're gonna give this to your Valentine, you can put your names on there. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a you plus me, which is actually what my wedding ring is engraved with. So very cute. So the last thing I'm gonna do, even though these definitely look beautiful as is, I'm gonna add a little bit of gold, like edible gold here. So I'm just gonna use these little sheets that I got on Amazon. I've used these before, a little bit goes a long way. It's kind of expensive, so I try to use it sparingly. And to attach this, you do need to put like a little bit of water, which it'll dry off, so just like a dab. And for me, I'm just going to stick it where I think it looks good. Little tiny pieces. All right, so my easy stamp fondant Valentine's Day cookies are complete, and I really love how they turned out, and it was actually really fun to kind of come up with all the different couples. And I personally don't know who my favorite couple is. It's like a toss up between probably Ice and Coco or maybe Ross and Rachel, but I do hope that you guys also have fun trying this technique. And if you like this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.